Hey everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. For this video, we'll be going through an unboxing of the high grade 12144 Gundam Asmodei, or Asmodei, or Asmodius, either either, pick one, uh, choice is yours. And this particular kit is from Rebel Suit Gundam Iron Blooded Orphans. Uh, released by Bandai back in 2022, aka the current calendar year. Now, the Asmodei is... well, I'm really tempted just to stick with Asmodei. Um, so it's not from the main Iron-Blooded Orphans series. It's a bit of a derivative um, from the quote-unquote mobile game. And... yeah. I read that and my take on pronunciation would be Urder Hunt. Now, potentially that is not correct. Um, I do believe there's some different interpretations of how it's supposed to be pronounced, but I'm just going to stay. It's IBO, leave it at that. Anyway, um, I actually was not expecting to do this, as well as another IBO kit, because I didn't think they would arrive um, when they did. Uh, because I just did a... what have I just done? The Astaroth and the Grimmery. So, whilst I was going to start off something new, I thought I would quickly slide in uh, this kit, as well as the upcoming kit. Um, just to fill out the IBO stuff and then move on to the next series. Um, now as I mentioned, as I did just recently get these, these, well, this kit as well as the next kit, as well as most of my kits, uh, it was from Hobby Link Japan, so I'll include a link to the Asmodee as well as other IBO kits in the description below. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, preamble aside. So here we have the front of the box for the Asma Day. Uh, very interesting looking kit. Um, I feel the green will take a little bit of getting used to. It's definitely nice. It does add uh, a splash of colour to a, I guess, a otherwise blue slash grey type of kit. But that's the front cover art in terms of the box. So we have a action pose, well, several action poses. Seems to be recreating the front pose of the box, so that's a good way of representing some of the articulation prowess this kit will have. Moving on, uh, some of the armaments that is included, which is very nice. Actually quite interesting, given that this uh, series, being RBO, um, didn't do the contemporary beam weaponry and instead went with um, your more traditional solid weaponry. But uh, I think they've done it quite well. Uh, more poses, um, some other gimmicks within the feet, and then wouldn't be an IBO kit without some large bladed weapon. So that's pretty cool. That's a nice collection of uh, action poses top of the box we do have the front and rear shot of the Asmodee, uh, a bit of a blurb of it. It is one of the 72 Gundam frame units which is to be expected whether we ever get the full 72. Time will tell. I think it's probably the best answer. And we have some other IBO kits here such as the Marchosius and the Hajiro Boshi because of names I'll, I'll give it to the creators coming up with some very unique names anyway that was the outside of the box in terms of the inside what do we have we have one two three bags runner runners a not small sticker sheet and a manual Pretty much short, stock standard inclusions. So I will open up this bag. 
I've just seen a PVC wire in there, thus I will now have PTSD for the rest of this video, but that's okay. Um, let's open this up and have a look at what's inside. And with everything now out of the bags, here we have the front of the manual. Top half been a nice image of the Asmodo, with less of the front box uh, lettering in the way. Then we have that front and rear line art shot of it as well. I will admit the green is starting to warm up on me. It does, it's in the right spots. I think it's probably a good way of describing it. Uh, we do have a fuller blurb of the Asmo Day. So that's pretty cool. So that was the front, in terms of the back. So the lineup we've already seen before from the outside of the box. Uh, the weaponry we have seen on the outside of the box, but this is going into a bit more of a description. So leg claws, grenades, a rifle. A Grand Ton Fass. Or is it supposed to be Grand Ton Fass? I think it's supposed to be Grand Ton Fass. Where did I get con Ton Fass from? Multi two Ton Fass. Anyway, uh, and a a Javelin. I want to say that red is gigantic, but it, yeah. Anyway, go Asmodai, you are confusing me to no end. Um, color guide. So it will be light grey, yellow, interesting, a uh, bit of purple, grey, white, and some blue green for sensors. In terms of the inside, so we have the usual Parts list. So IBO kits being IBO kits tend to have an average 5-6 runners in them, which is pretty good. Um, the A runner tending to be generally universal, being the frame. And we'll have a better look at those in a moment. In terms of the build, so the main body build will be generally the same as previous um, Gundam frame kits usually are, which is cool. It's interesting how they're just managing to change the external armor. Build the head, which will be some fun things to detail. Going through the right arm and the left arm. Pretty stock standard. Arms are definitely quite chunky, to say the least. And you do build some of the Tonfa accessories already. Um, the feet are done individually. Before we hit up the right leg and the left leg. And at some point in time, the waist. Um, I literally did just notice that. That's a little upsetting. No doubt that'll be some of those coloured stickers going on, um, on the frame. I my guess. There's the waist. And more stickers, putting everything together, and the weapons. And there are the usual action base connectors uh, available. We also have this last page about where the rifle can go, uh, switching out the positioning of the tonfers and enabling the little claw mode in the foot, which uh, I believe it was the Vidar that did it as well. That was a bit of a trip down memory lane. So that was the manual. Now, in terms of the offending sticker sheet, not the smallest IBO sticker sheet. Um, there will be a lot of color correcting stickers there, so it'll be interesting to see how this one pans out. Um, I appreciate that they're needed to enhance colours and things like that, but it does feel a touch disappointing when you see sticker sheets of that size, especially given the past two kits I've looked at have uh, not been to this scale. So that's the sticker sheet in terms of the runners. 
So we have the A runner, which is your usual IBO Gundam frame runner, and that's basically in black. So we've seen that countless times. Multicolor B runner, so we have some white, that's nice light grey, and I don't understand how that was thought as yellow. To me that's a bit of a, it's not fluorescent green, but it's definitely, it's, I think that's definitely green. But there you go, that's the multicolour runner within the set. That was the B runner. We have two C runners, C1 and C2. Um, C2 is a copy of, maybe if I do it this way, so C2 is a copy of um, parts of C1, so I'll take that away. They are also both in that uh, dark grey slash black, so a lot of this will be more for your weapon accessories and things like that. So that's still pretty cool. That was the two Cs. We have the 2Ds uh, in white and they're exact copies as well. So this will be parts of the feet and I'm not too sure what the others will be. I'm probably going to say mostly the feet. So 2Ds, usual polycap PC002 in a dark grey slash graphite colour. And lastly, we have a small PVC cable in black. Definitely don't want to lose that. Obvious foreshadowing. So that brings us to an end of the unboxing of the Gundam Asmodee. Um, definitely a very interesting looking kit, both um, the general external armor, the colors, and um, its armaments. The armaments are very nice, I think I'm a little taken back by the stickers, um, unfortunately. But um, the rest of it does still look very nice. I'll have to see if I have uh, any of my paint markers can possibly colour correct some of those colours without resorting to the stickers. But uh, I have a feeling this will have to rely on stickers. But uh, I guess we'll see when the time comes. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, this was picked up from Hobby Link Japan, so I will have a link to the Asthma Day and other IBO kits in the description. Thank you very much for watching this video. Feel free to leave a like, a comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the content. All of this does help support the channel and I do greatly appreciate it. Extra content can also be found on my Instagram account. Link is also in the description. Stay safe and take care, and I will catch you all in the next video. See ya.